Hey everybody, what's up again? It's John here. I'm going to do a new video for you today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this is of the Skymarks uh, Airlines uh, 767-300ER. I purchased it on Waffle Collectibles for $5. You heard it right, just $5. I couldn't pass that deal up. was considering purchasing it on uh, Jetway, Jetway Models, but they had it for $10. And when I saw it for Waffle on 5 I purchased it from him. Uh, it is a Phoenix model. Uh, if I ever get a older Gemini Jets uh, 7 6 mold, I'll definitely do a comparison between this mold and that one. They look pretty similar, but when I do get a mold, I'll definitely do a comparison video. Anyway, let's look at this. Um, so, this was a low cost carrier in Japan. Uh, they used uh, different planes, uh, the 6 7 200, 6 7 300 at the time. Uh, uh, all they have now is a 7 37 800. They haven't exactly been a good money maker. They've been fighting hard against like Japan Airlines, ANA, uh, Airdo, all of them. They're basically just whooping this airline. Uh, this is its older livery. Um, it's pretty cool though. I really like it. Blue tail, yellow stripe. It's a really good model. I recommend buying it. Like I said, Jetway has two of them. One with this livery and one with the Direct TV. So if you buy it, you'll love this model. So let's get to the model. Like I say, guys, um, I keep the light on and helps with the model. I know the glare isn't the best thing, but I'll try and aim it so it doesn't get too much in the way. Uh, I'm just trying to find that sweet spot. Right. There we go. Yeah, sorry about that. <clears throat> we have the nose cone where the radar is. We have the windshield wipers, L1 door. On the landing gear door it says 67A, it's part of the registration. We have the front L1. This would be the first class or business class section depending on the configuration. Skymarks. We have the red collision vehicle, we have the L2 door. Um, as I stated with the TWA model I did a while back, um, this plane has the, I, it's one of, uh, it depends on how you want to call it. I call this the third exit door setup. I know this plane is probably about used, but there's one, two, three, there's eight doors on this plane. Most 6 7 usually just have the front and back and two over wing or like like these two and then one over wing. It just depends on the airline's needs. Um, it also determines how many seats you can squeeze in. And we have the uh, front wing landing light. Uh, these are the General Electric CF6-80 engines, the C2 models. Leading edge, red navigation light. There'd be the little flasher, uh, the white strobe, and then the white tip with the lamp. The little lamp at the tip of the wing facing back. We have the uh, outer aileron, flaps, spoilers. We have the inner aileron. L3 door. I believe those are the, and one of the antennas, I forget which ones. Now, I don't know if this was actually on the plane. I just noticed this right now. There are two, there's the overwing emergency exit. This is where the uh, people would escape, but there are no overwings. I don't know if this plane was sent back to Boeing and re rebuilt. You know, they cut out the doors, filled it in, and added the doors. I'm not sure. If anyone could answer me, please do. I'd love to have an answer. Anyway, let's move on. Blue stripe, yellow stripe, sky marks tail with the circle and five stars. Usually the registration would be there, but it's not for some reason. It's under the wing, so we'll do it from here. Registration is Juliet Alpha 767 Alpha, Phoenix, main gear, horizontal stabilizers, tail skid, nose gear. Let's do the front real quickly. Like I said, sorry about the glare. Front of the engines, those are the, uh, the fans of the, uh, the engines. We have the nose. Uh, same thing on the side except for the two cargo doors and the, uh, the green navigation light. Horizontal stabilizer, vertical stabilizer, APU. You can see this. You can see the tail skid from here a little better. Back to the engines. <laughs> Not much to the box. Just plain, plain but sometimes simple is probably the way to go. Yeah, this is a good model. I love it. Like I said, if I get an old Gemini Seven Six, regardless of what it is, I'll do a mold comparison. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I did order two more models from Waffle Collectibles today. I'll probably get them Monday or Tuesday. When I get a chance, I'll definitely do a video. 
Well, guys, uh, like I said last night, if you want a shout out, don't hesitate to say anything. Just please let me know in the comments. I would love to have a shout out for my channel, too. No, scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Anyway, guys, you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out.